Today on Garden Fork, the best way ever to season cast iron. Hey everyone, I'm Eric Rocha. Welcome to Garden Fork, another in our cast iron seasoning series. Earlier we talked about dispelling some cast iron myths. We showed you how to rescue heavily rusted cast iron and we showed you how to strip off really badly damaged seasoning, which I just did. <laughs> In our other videos, the links are at the uh, bottom of here and at the end of the show if all our technology is working correctly. But today I wanted to show you the best right way to season cast iron. If you want your cast iron to be beautiful like this puppy here, here's how to do it, okay? You have a brand new pan that you just bought or you have an older pan that you've just stripped the seasoning off of, which is what happened with this one. Uh, I really mucked up the seasoning and we did a video about how to fix that, long story. But this information is all based on a blog post by Cheryl Cantor, who did a lot of research into this and saved us all from having to do that same research. The trick here is you want a oil that is called a drying oil, because drying oils, when applied to a surface like this, and if they're heated, go through what's called polymerization. So a drying oil does this. And one of the few edible drying oils is, wait for it, flax oil. You have to buy this in the health food section of your store. It has to be kept refrigerated. Um, it can go rancid fairly quickly, but that's kind of why it's food grade is because it's better than regular linseed oil. Linseed oil, don't want to eat that, okay? Learn from me. So I'm going to show you now how to do a multi-step process here of applying flax oil to your pan and heating it. The more you do this, the better the seasoning will be, okay? Here we go. These instructions are based on Cheryl's blog post. I modified it a bit. Step one, heat this puppy up. You wanna make sure it's completely dry and this kind of opens up the pores of the cast iron. All right, that puppy's hot. Turn off the heat, squirt in some oil. Rub that in everywhere. Hot, hot. You don't want a lot of oil dripping and glopping up here. You want the surface coated. So remove anything that's gonna drip. We're preheating our oven to 500. This goes in face down. When the oven fits, hits 500, set your timer for one hour. The seasoning process puts off a bit of smoke. So if you wanna do this outside, use your gas grill. Just bring that up to 500. Go from there. After it's cooled down a bit, wipe in some more oil. Ooh, that's still hot. Make sure there isn't a lot of drippiness, no puddling. You just want oil, a bare film of oil, back in the oven, or better yet, out in the grill. I preheated the grill. It got kind of smoky inside, so I'm going to put this puppy there. Another hour, okay? Nice! Actually, really quite nice. Um, I'm really impressed by this. The flax oil is the way to go. Four turns in the oven. Again, uh, put it on, wipe it off. Hour in the oven, let it cool off, wipe it on again four times. I went out and I just put this in the gas grill because after a while it's, the house just kind of was smelling like oil and it wasn't great. The gas grill looks really well for that, by the way. So cool. I mean, we also have other cast iron care videos. We've got one about how to repair really badly rusted cast iron and also our cast iron myths video. Can you use soap on cast iron? The links are right behind me here if the links are working or they're in the show notes below. As always, subscribe if you like, hit the subscribe button, or sign up for our email newsletter. We put out emails every week about cool stuff we're doing. I'd like to hear from you too. Comments below, let me know what you think about this seasoning or what's your way of seasoning cast iron. All right, see ya.